Volusia County schools are cracking down on cyberbullies. A heartbreaking look at the dangers of cyberbullying. Social media. I use social media a bit. Sparingly. Yes, I do. Yes, I use social media a lot. And why do you use those apps? Uh, it enables me to be able to uh, communicate with others, share resources, and also to learn from what is going on all around uh, the world. To connect with friends and family. Okay, so I'm a WhatsApp fan, okay, okay. and I think that's about it. <laughs> have you ever experienced cyberbullying yourself, or have you ever come across anyone who's been cyberbullied? Well, uh, many students, yeah, in the college, being stalked, being harassed, okay. being insulted and abused. Um, I personally have not. However, in my job role as a personal tutor and progress coach, I have encountered students who've experienced um, cyberbullying. Uh, well, it was so far mostly girls as opposed to boys. And the girls have been really scared, really nervous about uh, what's been said, how their information has been used. Um, and it really throws them in disarray. They're not sure what to do, who's watching them, who's uh, gathering uh, information on them. Uh, I haven't directly had that experience, but uh, I've had instances as the head of faculty where I had to deal with students that were being cyberbullied uh, as part of the college and the students that I manage. And the experience is, is not a good one. I have seen people get cyberbullied. Okay. For example, back in secondary school there would have been a lot of cyberbullying that would be going on. And do you think um, those circumstances could change a person's personality or appearance or anything? Could it change who they are? Of course. It will mentally damage someone if they're getting cyberbullied. It makes them more depressed or, you know, they might think certain stuff and it could lead to more serious cases. Well, a Senate panel is calling on executives from YouTube, TikTok and Snapchat to face questions on what their companies are actually doing to ensure young users' safety. If you were the owner of, of these social media apps and platforms, how would you take action into reducing cyberbullying? Uh, I think it comes down to uh, the programming. Uh, you know, these uh, uh, sites are um, packed by programs are written for that one. So they need to have the algorithms written, which will easily, instantly identify any words uh, through the programming part that are uh, actually constitute cyberbullying and quickly remove those uh, uh, images or videos on the, that will affect others. Add more security, more parental guidance. Just make sure that there's parental guidance. For example, like people below 18, it should, their accounts should be managed by their parents. It's a good one. You have to know much more about how it works, don't you, yeah. to be able to answer that. Um, I, I think, I don't know for sure, but I would imagine, going back to what I was trying to say just now about being self-assured, I think if you're very firm with yourself as an individual, you're very clear about what you're doing, what you want, your own expectations, and not expectations of others, but expectations of yourself, you draw boundaries, you set boundaries. If I was the head of a, a social media organisation, it wouldn't be my top priority. Because my job as the head of a social media company is to make money. Yes, okay, that is true, that is very true. And, you know, if there are shareholders in the company or important people who have an investment in the company, mm -hmm. they're going to be principally interested in, in their investment yeah. growing. And that means the number of users going up, the frequency of use going up, you know, for individuals that means more and more attachment to the use of social yeah, media, yeah, yeah. mostly through their phones, mm -hmm. which means more and more people walking down the street looking at their phones all the time and not looking at the lovely weather and the trees. Mm -hmm. um, so I wouldn't be interested in their 
well-being and mental health, not necessarily, only insofar as it might be a, a problem for the business model. So if, if the media influences customers to turn away from my site because other sites are safer or more secure or uh, better in some other way, then fine, you know, that's a, I'd have to as the leader of the social media company, do something about that. And, yeah. and who knows what the limits would be.